Hey guys, welcome to Frank's Tech Help. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Anchor 5600 milliamp hour external USB charging unit. Um, so this item is capable of recharging many various different USB um, charging devices, uh, cell phones, headphones, a lot of different things. It also comes with many various different connectors. I'll go ahead and show this to you real quick for the PSP, Nokia, um, uh, Sony Ericsson, various different models. Um, it does not actually come with the iPhone, iPad, iPod connector. They suggest that you use your own cable for that. So let me clear this stuff out of the way, unbox this, and let's see what we're working with. So here we are. Um, here's the actual um, USB charging device. I'll try to get a close-up for you there if I can get everything in focus. Here's the input. And we actually charge the unit up. Here's the output for the USB. I'll give you a look around the outer edges there. So this is the um, power and indicator button. So you can see I've already charged this unit up. Now to fully charge this unit from a dead state, you're going to look at about five to six hours. Um, but under normal usage, if you get down you know, to one or two bars, you're probably looking at around three to four hours to charge it up. This does have a built-in flashlight. So if you click the power button two times, the flashlight kicks on there and it's you know it's not a great flashlight but it's pretty useful I'm not sure I guess if you're carrying the unit in your pocket and you need to see you know whatever you're doing I guess that's okay but I guess it's more of a convenience factor than anything so if you click the button twice again it goes off and when I first got this unit it had three bars charged and I plugged it in for about three hours and it finally kicked in with that last bar now this unit does come with a lot of various different types of connectors um, we have the power outlet um, now this is a 1,000 um, uh, or one, one amp, basically a 1,000 milliamp uh, connector here. So it does produce a pretty good amount of juice as far as trying to charge this unit up more quickly. So what we have here, um, let's go ahead and start. For instance, I'll start with my uh, Motorola Triumph um, Android phone here. Um, to charge with this unit, you're going to plug this cable into the side, and this is just another one of the adapters like you see back here. So you basically plug that in, this is the micro USB, and then you'll plug it into the USB wall outlet adapter here, like that. So when you plug that into the side, plug this into the wall, you can charge the unit. Once it's done charging, you can then unplug this part, unplug it from here, plug the USB in, right here and now you're ready to start charging devices so here's my Android um, as you can see uh, the yellow indicator I'm down to 17 percent so I'll go ahead and plug this in just to show you how it works here alright so it doesn't actually start charging the unit as soon as you plug it in you have to hit the power button and you'll notice this go from yellow to blue when it starts charging so I'm gonna hit that and then you'll see that the indicator is blue now and the red light is on indicating that it's charging. Let's try it with the Blackberry because it also uses the micro USB. So when I plug it in you can see that the charge indicator light comes on there. So it's charging that unit. Alright, I've got a Motorola speaker phone unit here which uses the mini USB. So let's pop this adapter off here and use the mini USB adapter for that. Plug it in here, and it just gave me a beep beep beep, so now you can see that it's charging that unit. Um, I actually have a couple of Plantronic headsets, this is one of the older ones, um, but I do have a USB charging cable for that, so I can plug this in here, plug it into this unit, right there like that, and as you'll see, the charge indicator light has come on there, so oh, it went off because the unit turned off there. So powered it back on and there you see that it's charging that. Um, I've got a pair of MP3 headphones that came with a you know little USB charging adapter. So plug that in. Plug this into here. There's one more item as you can see right there. I don't know if you can see that in the light. So it's charging that unit. Uh, my Sony Ericsson HBH IS800 Bluetooth headphones. Um, I was really surprised about this. 
But as you'll see right here, this is the Sony Ericsson adapter for it right there. So I'm gonna plug this in right here and hit the power button. And as you can see, the red indicator light is on. So it's actually charging my headphone unit there. So I'm very happy with this. I gotta say so far because man, everything I have that you know is USB powered is able to be charged on this. So input DC five volt. I think it's actually 5.3 volts on the output, but one amp. As you can see right there, the battery in my Android phone is a 1380 milliamp battery or milliamp hour battery. This is 5600. If you do the math, this is four times. So I can charge this phone four times off of this one battery, which is really good. The same applies for my Blackberry. It has a 1380 milliamp hour battery in it as well. Um, so what that means is I could charge this up, I can charge this up and have five complete charges so I could be on the road for you know four maybe five days you know um, as far as getting charges and of course you can use it in combination you could charge this up a couple of times you could charge up your headphones you could charge up a Bluetooth headset in that rotation as well so what it comes down to is this is pretty badass in my opinion anchor stands by it they use high quality product you know as far as the battery and the um, uh, manufacturing and stuff and this is a pretty heavy duty unit it's got a little bit of weight to it but you can see it's pretty compact you can slide this into your pocket you know and really the only cable that I've had to use so far you know is this one right here now it does come with another extension cable so in theory what you could do is you could plug this in you know like this as far as charging this unit up and then unplug it and plug the other cable into the USB and use any of the other adapters um, but I think that's just more of a convenience factor because you can go with the short cable or you can go with the longer cable if you want. But because of this design right here, you can pretty much use any of these connectors on either cable. Um, so there's the Motorola Triumph, my little Android phone. You can see the difference between the thickness. Here's a Blackberry compared to that. And that's one thing I was really curious about because I've seen this online, but you can't really tell how big it is. There it is compared to my little Motorola speaker adapter. Here's my Plantronics Bluetooth headset so you can see kind of the size based on you know various different products and stuff. So. First, but I love this because um, for instance um, I watch a lot of Netflix and stuff when I'm out uh, you know I went over to my brother's house tonight and we decided to watch a movie on Netflix so you know I pulled up Netflix on my phone and I used my HDMI cable and plugged it into this high definition TV and of course it's going to suck a lot of juice out of the phone so what I did is I plugged this in plugged it into my phone while we were watching the movie and it was actually charging my phone while we were watching the movie so by the time I got done watching the movie I had more juice left on my phone um, than when I started so it's very very handy little item to have there so anyway um, I'm not sure what else to cover here. I don't have any like a PSP or anything as far as testing the other connections and stuff. But as you can see, I've charged a lot of various different products and items. You know, it's capable of charging a lot of different stuff. So uh, for 40 bucks, I think it's going to be a very good investment. And um, just wanted to do a quick review for you guys so you could see the actual size of it and see, you know, the capacity and everything. So anyway, I hope this video helped you guys out. If it did, please post a comment. And as always, thanks for watching Frank's Tech Help. Peace.